How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have from Mattel, this is the Hammond Collection San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Steven Spielberg figure in its packaging. 65 million years in the making. Says on the... Oh, come on. Let's just go ahead and push that wayward goat back a little bit. There we go. So it has a brief little description on the back. Awesome Jurassic Park box. Uh, if you guys have received this one in the mail, I, I had to open like four shipper boxes just to get to this box before I, you know, stopped. And I'm like, ah, I should probably do this one on video. Like I'm not 100% sure, but you know, I am a YouTube guy. So uh, <laughs> I open things on YouTube. So maybe this one should be on on video so right there we have the packaging roll one scene 15 f take six uh the director is steven spielberg san diego comic-con exclusive i don't know what the heck's going up right there is mine a reseal i hope not I ordered it straight from freaking uh mattel but that's really janky looking tape i'm not gonna lie 99.92 but it's a real working clapper box and then we go ahead and we flip that guy over, and there we have Steven Spielberg, the Dilophosaurus. Nice little director's chair there. Uh, I like that little description of the the set there. And then, of course, for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. But let's waste no more time. Let's open, hopefully, the last cardboard box I'll have to open for this figure. So I think this counts as, let's see, there's the main shipper. The shipper for the shipper. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, this will be box number five that I've opened just for this figure alone. So that's super fun. I was wondering why on the back of the box it had a, a, lic or a licensing agreement for Jeep. But it has to be that right there. It has that nice little background of Nedry's Jeep and everything. I do dig how... That just looks really cool. I might have to keep that. I'm not 100% sure. But there is the set there itself. Um, oh, well, my, my tail didn't want to stay in form right there. But so there is the director's chair. It is all hards good. It doesn't move or fold or anything like that, unfortunately. It does look like it's assembled in several different pieces, however. There is the Steven Spielberg himself. And he is Hammond Collection, so I'm really looking forward to looking at some of the articulation on him. There is the camera. That's really cool looking. And there is the Dilophosaurus himself. We're going to go ahead and ditch the plastic over here. And then we're going to go ahead and front and center these guys <laughs> so when they first announced this set this is the only set for San Diego Comic Con this year where I was like I absolutely have to own this one uh, just because I've really been enjoying the Hammond collection uh, so far there's only one Hammond, ex Hammond collection exclusive that I missed out on and that was last year's T-Rex attack on the poor lawyer Gennaro but there is the Steven Spielberg. I know I'm not going to be able to focus, be able to focus very well on him because I'm in the wide zoom, and for some reason my camera won't let me change from wide zoom to close after I've started filming, and I can't exactly stop, and I don't know how to edit. All of these are always one shots. So there is the Steven Spielberg. I'll probably be posting some better pictures of him on my social media, uh, you know, Viper Nine Toy videos on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to go ahead and follow me there. But he does have the single, or does he have single or ball joint? He's got a ball joint head, which is awesome. His glasses, I remember from the promotional photos, I believe are removable. So technically, I believe his glasses are removable. I'm just not able to get them. Yeah, see, you can kind of see right there a little bit of a flex on that and then the shoulder articulation is always great on these guys no he's got like a waist swivel a little bit of a ball joint elbow articulation is fairly decent and then he does have wrist rockers but you know the man behind the camera you don't expect much 
uh, articulation, but he does have the double jointed knees, ankle articulation, and I really dig his sneakers overall. Let's see if we can't go ahead and get him sitting in his director's chair. And there is the camera. Camera does have an adjustable eyepiece right there. Does it come off? It does not come off the tripod. Doesn't feel like any of the other parts come off, so you can't really alter it, but it does also swivel on the tripod. So that's really kind of cool. Go ahead and get him like he's standing behind the, the camera. Boom, just like that. And then the Dilophosaurus is, this. I'm going to assume the same as the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus that I've already done the video on. I think my paint apps are crooked. Because these bubbles are usually on the bottom of the tail. That looks like the ridge of the bottom of the tail. Maybe that's the ridge of the side of the tail. Huh. But anyways, I'm going to line up the, the paint apps. So he does have the wire bendy tail. He does have the ball joint there. He has the super awesome neck articulation. Go ahead and take off that, that waddle there. And then he does have the, the jaw articulation, which is feeling a little funky. Just because he was, you know, posed in the position that he was. So it looks like it's not wanting to fit up inside the mouth very well. You see how that side is nice and clean and formed. Well, that side you can see, you'll still see a little bit of the... Yep. Ah, that's annoying. Gonna have to... There we go. Got that folded over, so now the mouth will close on the Dilophosaurus. And then he does have, so he has the really good neck articulation, double jointed at the base of the skull and at the top of the neck. The shoulder articulation is fairly decent, actually, for a dinosaur. A lot more than it should be. And then he does have elbow articulation. No wrists or fingers or anything like that. The hips are ball jointed, just like normal. And then he does have the knee and ankle articulation there, but he also has ankle rockers. Super rad. Super rad. Then he does have, oops, if I can keep hold of him, the little spitter cowl that, oh, come on. That just wants to be super stiff. Get it on there. And then get... Wow, I don't remember... My other Dilophosaurus being that difficult to get that to go. Get his mouth open. And then the one thing that this set has that I really, really dig, of course, is the stand for the Dilophosaurus. So the stand isn't anything, like, really dramatic. It doesn't have, like, any moving parts, any plugs or anything like that. So he just goes ahead and stands in there. But there you go. It's the animatronic stand for the Dilophosaurus, for that, that epic scene where he does go after Dennis Nedry. That's just really awesome. Let's check something here real quick. I'm honestly curious if the base is molded specifically to the Dilophosaurus or if it will also work Ah, it vaguely works on the Velociraptor as well. So you can kind of, like it doesn't fit nearly as perfect as it does for the Dilophosaurus. Uh, because obviously it wasn't sculpted for the Velociraptor. But it can work for the Velociraptor. So not only can you do pictures for the Dilophosaurus, but the Raptor. That, that is just super cool. Like I said, this is the, the only set this year at San Diego Comic-Con where I was like, I have to own this. It needs to be in my collection. It's honestly for the chair. Nice little Jurassic Park logo there on the back. Spielberg on it. It's all for that. But right there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already. I will be posting pictures up on Facebook and Instagram a little bit closer detail on these just because my camera sucks and I need to update it. But right there, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Thank you for watching.